back live with independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who is polling much higher than many in the mainstream media would have you believe these days. Um, let me ask you about your family. Many members of your family have been critical of your campaign. Prominent members put out a statement that said, quote, the decision of our brother Bobby to run as a third party candidate against Joe Biden is dangerous to our country. Bobby might share the same name as our father, but he does not share the same values, vision or judgment. Today's announcement is deeply saddening for us. We denounce his candidacy and believe it to be perilous for our country. It was signed by Rory Kennedy, Kerry Kennedy, Joseph P. Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. Why do you think they're saying that? I assume you think they believe what they're saying is right. Yeah, I mean, listen, I have a big family. Over July 4th weekend, there were, I believe, 105 Kennedys uh, and, uh, at Cape Cod, and a lot of them are supporting me. I just came from a fundraiser that my cousin Anthony Shriver, my closest cousin, gave for me in Miami. I just spent the vacation with my family. So, you know, I think there's five members of my family who work for the, either work for or with the Biden administration. Many of them disagree with me on issues like the war uh, and other issues on President Biden and on censorship. And, uh, and so, you know, I don't begrudge them those feelings. I think they're very scared that President Trump is going to get elected and they consider me a danger to the country and the republic because their assumption was that I would take more uh, votes away from President Biden from President Trump. So I come from Dan, a big family that, uh, that we were raised to debate each other. We were raised to have controversies to be able to de debate robustly and vigorously with each other. We practice it night after night at the dinner table. And to do that, to disagree with each other without hating on each other, to continue to love each other even though we, um, we disagree on issues or on strategies, oh, I wish that for the whole country, I wish we could be doing more of that. Let's talk media. When you were running in the Democratic primary, Fox News was rolling out the red carpet for you. <laughs> but since, since you've declared this third party run, they've treated you a bit uh, differently. You know, Sean Hannity welcomed you and said that people were unfairly bashing you. And then you uh, decided to run as an independent and you've been treated a little differently there. Do you think that places like Fox view you as a threat to Donald Trump? Well, I think you're talking about one host on Fox. Uh, I was on Fox this morning with Martha McCollin. Uh, I have, you know, I go on Fox all the time on the other uh, news shows. So, you know, uh, Jesse Waters, Neil Cavuto, um, many of the other hosts are, uh, I think, are anxious to let me on. I mean, nobody kind of gives me a break any more than you just did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you spent a lot of time talking about vaccines and about Jeffrey Epstein. These are not my campaign Let's talk Israel, uh, then. Issues. Let's talk no, Israel. I want, to talk about the, Let I want to talk about the middle class. I want to talk. Well, let me thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.